Welcome back to SB Nation. I'm Amy K. Nelson. A lot of anticipation for the men's gold medal football match on Saturday at Wembley Stadium. Brazil, Mexico. How much is on the line? Well, both countries have never won gold in men's soccer. And Mexico has never even appeared in a medal game. So, win or lose, Mexico is secured of bringing home its first medal in the sport. Obviously, though, El Tri would love to win gold, but it'll have to do it without its best player, forward Giovanni Dos Santos, who was hurt in a 3-1 win over Japan. As for Brazil, the soccer-rabid country has faced enormous expectations and pressure to bring the country its first gold, virtually the only prize missing from its rich winning history. It will be the first gold medal game for the country since 1988. Brazil's 15 goals lead the tournament, while Mexico is second with 10. Don't underestimate Mexico, which, with its strong international play recently, is viewed as a rising power in the sport. For more on this and a look at the impact players of this matchup, here's Ryan Rosenblatt. Ryan Rosenblatt from SB Nation Soccer here, talking about the 2012 Olympics gold medal match between Brazil and Mexico. And while it's great to go for the gold medal, Brazil and Mexico both want it, they've never won a gold medal before, this is really a youth tournament. The Olympics are under 23s with a couple overage players. This is all about which young players are ready to make their impact for the senior team soon, and which of those are going to start across the best clubs in the entire world. And with these two teams, there's plenty of them. Start with Mexico. They have Jorge Enriquez and Hector Herrera, two players who can make their move to the senior team soon. Mexico has had problems in the central midfield with their senior team. They haven't been able to find that right combination. Either one of these players could slot and do that anytime soon. That's true of Israel Jimenez too. He could slot in at right back for Mexico. They really do need to upgrade that right back position. Jimenez could do it. He's been very, very good this tournament. Finally, Diego Reyes. He has been the best defender for Mexico all tournament. He's the future of the Club America defense. Is he the future of the Mexico defense? It looks like it. Well, okay, not finally with Reyes. One more player, Marco Fabian. He is Mexico's best player. He could make the move to Europe soon. He could also be a guy who sticks with Chivas for a while. Regardless, he is the best player Mexico has. He started all summer, started with the Toulouse tournament here in the Olympics. Tremendous player who, regardless of where he plays with club ball, Europe or with Chivas, he's going to be a star for the Mexico senior team. Flipping over Brazil, all the talk is Neymar, Neymar, Neymar. It's great and all. He is unbelievably incredible. No one's disputing that. But, eh, it's kind of boring. We already know he's great. Who else do they have? Leandro Dimiao. He's playing for Internacional right now. Tottenham, Hotspur, and Juventus have both shown interest in him. And if either one of them cuts the check, he's going to make the move there. Whether he does or doesn't, he's going to star for the Brazil senior team. He's already getting caps for them. He's going to keep getting caps for them. He's a big 6'2 striker who has great feet, can head the ball, and is a deadly finisher. Can't find a lot of those, even in Brazil. Leandro's one of them. Also, keep an eye on Oscar, just bought by Chelsea. If he gets regular time for Chelsea, he could push for a regular spot in the Brazil senior team. Blinding talent who's had a great Olympics. Finally, like Mexico, Brazil has a problem in their central midfield as well. They have Lucas Leiva, when healthy, but who plays next to him? Could be Sanju, could be Romulo. Both of those are very good players who could push for that last spot. Plenty of talent on both these teams, and a gold medal up for grabs. Make sure you tune into the match. It should be a fun one. Also, follow along with SB Nation Soccer and subscribe to this YouTube page. It'll be a ton of fun.